Creating parentages using the variation wizard is actually one of the worst ways you can go about it. Why? Because you are constantly going to run into error codes. You're going to have issues all the time and Amazon does not help you with any of it. And realistically, it doesn't update the way it's supposed to most of the time. My name is Noah Wickham. I'm a sales director here at My Amazon Guy. And I'm going to walk you through how to create a parentage in the correct way and make sure it gets done right every single time. We're going to be doing this using a flat file upload. For those that don't know what a flat file upload is, it's a template on Amazon's backend that you can download, open up in Excel, and then edit all of the different details on a product listing that you need to it has a much higher success rate than anything you do on Amazon's actual backend platform. So let's get started right now. And to Amazon seller central, you go and you can come on over here. First thing we're going to do, decide what products we actually want to throw into this parentage. So we'll open up this. We will go to inventory and then manage all inventory. I actually have a tab open for this already. We're going to be parenting this product and this product together today. So these two products are the ones we're going to be doing uh, on the actual product flat file. So we can see here we have this open up already. We can see exactly what the product is and the more important aspect, what the category is. You're going to want to remember this category overall, even down to this subcategory. So once we have that, we're going to come back over to catalog. We're going to add products via upload. The purpose of this is that we're going to essentially download this template that we're going to need to fill out. So we'll go over here after this to download spreadsheet over on the right. You'll see get product template. So download or open that and you should see this little link where you can use a product template. Click that button. You can click OK. Got it on this now. For this, you can just type in whatever that subcategory was. So I'll just type in soaps real quick. It's usually not going to pull up the exact correct one that you actually need. So what I like doing is going down here where it will do browse via product category. And then again, we can type in the category and we can type in soaps. Now you can see three different categories, and this is why we want to actually open this up from the aspect of the category specific, where we can see the health and household, we can see beauty and personal care, and then we can also see that we have body cleansers in here. So one's personal care, one's skin care. So what we're going to need to do again is come over here and we can see it's beauty, personal care, skin care, body cleansers, soaps. So what we'll do is we'll click that one right here where we can see again, beauty, personal skin care, body cleansers, soaps. We'll select that one. We'll come down here make sure it's for the marketplace that you want. We're not going to opt into this beta at the moment and we are going to generate spreadsheet. Now that downloads up at the top there and I already have this open down below so I will open this up. So you can see the spreadsheet here that I have started filling out with all of the details already. So when you open up this template, it should look fairly similar to this uh, for your category. There are some category specific areas that we'll get into here in a bit for every single type of category. But for the most part, the main important parts of this for a parentage are going to be the areas that we already have filled out. So you're always for product type going to need to fill this in. So again, it's only going to give you usually one based on your actual area. So this one is going to be skin cleaning agent. So for the parent, you need to set up a SKU for this parent. So you can see here under the SKUs, I just set up uh, age of sage FBA parent. So that's going to be my parentage SKU. That is what the parent is going to be listed at as in Amazon's back end. And then from there as well, I also added the SKUs of the two products. Again, I just got those from our own manage inventory where I copied it here and copied it here to then add in on the back end here of this product detail. So we have our SKUs here. And then under update delete, we have three options. O option number one is update, which is just if you're going to be making an update. Option number two is partial update. And option number three is delete. Now for update, it means that you have to have every piece of information you possibly can in this file filled out. If you do have something missing, even if it's something as simple as the product name, Amazon will take any blank there as you wanting to clear out that product detail. So if I, for instance, uploaded a full update where it just says update, and I didn't have, let's say, the dimensions filled out here. So if I open this, if I didn't have these dimensions filled out, then Amazon would then come back and just zero out the dimensions on the actual product. For partial update, partial updates only 
uh, will update the areas on the actual listing that you have filled out. So you can see here all of the specific areas I have filled out. They will only update based on what you have filled in and will leave anything that's blank untouched. And then finally, for delete, that allows you to just go through and delete the product via upload. That's really useful if you have very, very large catalogs and you can go through, add a ton of ASINs in all at once and just delete them out of the product catalog. So next we have the product name. So you do need to name your parents. So for this one, I just made it simple, Age of Sage Parentage. This is going to be the de facto title for a parentage. So what I would advise you to do is make this some version of the actual product title. As you can see here, we have very similar product titles for this parentage. I would just make sure to not include the actual scent. So you can see fragrant macho scent here and then fragrant masculine. I would include all of this first part though, typically in a parentage. Next, we have to have our product ID of some kind. So you have to have something outside of just the SKU to be able to do this. So we're going to be choosing ASIN for this. And again, I just got that ASIN direct from here for each of the different products. Now, going over a little bit, we get over to our parentage, our variation. And you can see here that I actually had to expand this section. Likely this section will look like this when you first do it. You'll just need to click this plus to expand it and fill in some details. So for the parent, we are going to under parentage, click parent. And then for the two child SKUs that we want to have within the parentage, we will put child. Now, the one area I haven't filled out yet is the parent SKU. So what we'll do is we'll come back over here to the seller SKU for what we put as the parentage. We're going to copy this and we are going to put that under the child only. We are not going to be putting this under the parentage. Now for relationship type, we can choose one of these, but typically uh, the best is just going to be the variation. Now, Variation theme is quite important. We have a lot of options here and we want to fill it in for all three. We, for this one, just for uh, example purposes, are going to be choosing color. Now, each one of these different uh, styles, you know, scent, anything like that, actually correlates directly to a descriptive measure that we then have to fill out over in our discovery. So if we look over on discovery, you'll see that there's actually a column for color, there's also one for scent name. So if we were to choose uh, instead of color here, if we were to choose scent, that would be where we'd update that instead. So you can see for color, I'm just doing something simple. I'm doing white, black, and that is all I'm going to have there. And so when that uploads on Amazon's backend under the actual parentage, you'll see the parent show up or the variation show up under color, and then it'll say white or black on each one of those. Now, if we scroll over a little bit more, you can see that none of these are areas we actually have to fill in. Again, this will be very product and category dependent. Uh, a lot of these details that you can see here are compliance related. So if you have things that include batteries, if you have electronics of some kind, if you have uh, a supplement of some kind, this is a lot of compliance areas. And then same thing with fulfillment, we'll have to fill in that uh, type of information. Now. You will not have to if you are just creating a parentage fill in very much for a lot of this again if we are just doing the partial update. Now, since we have the partial update all complete here, the entire flat file, we can save this. And then what you will do is you will go back on over to your ad, ad products via upload. It's under catalog again. And then we will do upload your spreadsheet. So we'll just browse our files. We'll choose the actual uh, spreadsheet that we're going to do. And then we'll just submit products. Once you submit this, you can actually go over here to spreadsheet upload status. Spreadsheet upload status will allow us to actually see uh, what the overall status is. You'll be able to see if it's done or if it's needing action required. If there are actions required, typically those are going to be where you are either missing some form of information from that flat file for the parentage. Once you have the parentage fully done, fully uploaded, it should take about 24 hours to show up on your back end at most, and then you should be able to see it on your front end. When you see it on the front end, we'll be able to see something similar to this, where in this case we have scent, we have the name of the scent. Again, this is something that you can up or you can put in yourself as the actual name, and then we can have each of our different scents in here. So that is the easiest way to create a parentage and make sure that you absolutely aren't going to have any issues like you would with the variation 
wizard at all on Amazon's backend. If you do have any issues when it comes to flat files, let us know down in the comments below.